A little bit of fun there for the beginning. What's up, guys? Chad CRC back with you. Remember those death rolls in the CL Racing F4S? Yeah, that's it right there. Pre-capacitor on the Race Star 32 uh, BL Heli 32 ESCs that you can see that I have here now. Now this is uh, the fully built six-inch uh, test frame that I got those ESCs on and. Just wanted to get a six inch frame back in the air period to try out some of these new props. The weather just is so cold. It's so awful. Uh, flying even with five inches and 4S or 5S, it's just, you know, two minute flights or whatever. It's just not fun at all. So I wanted to try out the Dow 6040 since I got some. And so I threw some parts together and Put them back on the Canasty frame here, which I like because the other six inch frame that I have, the Alien, is just a little bigger and heavy. It's actually a Martian, so it's not that nice. It's not worth playing around with. Working on the five and a half inch Proton, I definitely have a lot of faith in that because I had so much success with the six inch Tokyo, but just a tough build, really limited in space. So anyway, let's talk about these uh, 6040 Cyclones. I'm pretty happy with them, honestly. I mean, I'll show some video on here. Keep in mind, it was like 5 degrees, minus 10 degrees wind chill out yesterday when I was flying these. And for the quality of the video that I got, compared to most other 6-inch props that I've thrown on the these quads, I am pretty, uh, pretty impressed because I know when things warm up, that this will definitely be good because when it's just cold, everything just gets stiff and resonates and, you know, plastic wires get hard and break in half and everything else like that. So let's uh, take a little bit of a closer look here at the blades real quick and then we'll look at the... So this is a 6040 tri-blade weighing 6 grams, which isn't too bad if you compare that to this 5.5 inch... Uh, Emax uh, 55, 52 or something like that. These are coming in at 7 grams. There's a lot more uh, material there. You know, you can obviously see that. So that's why you get that added weight. And it's a little 5 inch uh, bro brother coming in at uh, 5 grams. So this is the first real flight after that uh, death roll that I had with the ESCs. Um, and the CL Racing Board. Now, first thing, flying D-Shot 1200 with these BL Heli 32 ESCs, I think is really nice. Um, it's definitely too early to say, oh, this is great, go BL Heli 32. But I could feel a little bit of a difference, especially on the six inch. This is pretty close. This is like beta flight stock PIDs minus 10% on like everything. So just, you know, 10 to 11% down on everything. And you can see the video is not too bad, especially for it being super duper cold out. You know, the longer you fly, you can start to see that the video will start to definitely change a little bit more as things start to get colder and the battery starts to get colder. And you know, I, I when I'm out just kind of testing and pit tuning, I kind of set up like three different um, like profiles with just small changes on each one. And so I'll just come in and land and then flip the switch and kind of go at it again. And in this instance, I really was just going down with everything. I started at 10%, then I went to about... 12 to 13 percent and then down to like 15 16 percent from like beta flight stock pits on everything which is pretty close since this is a switch that squished x design so my your pitch is always going to be you know 15 to 20 points higher mostly um uh, than your your roll access but you can see that things are definitely starting to get a little bit too loose here and vibrate a little too uh, too much just with that change in PIDs. So really just that 10% drop on everything and uh, the stock Betaflight stuff really gave it uh, 
a good boost. And uh, we'll switch to some video now and kind of show you where I was, where I went throughout the day um, of some testing. I don't think it really got a whole lot better. It's really hard to to do a lot of stuff with this in the cold, as I said. And throttle, learning throttle control again after not flying a six inch for say two or three weeks is another thing that's really difficult to get back to learning that you just got so much power on demand with six inch and 5s um also um shaking and being cold doesn't help either <laughs> So this here was my last flight of the day and I'd start working uh, the PIDs back up, just really focusing more on flight and the characteristics and kind of testing everything else out since I knew I really wouldn't get smooth video. So I really wanted to just kind of dial in some things and you can see that I've definitely created a little bit more jello for myself and everything, but nothing that is like totally horrible or that's not going to be easily correctable. You know, these are out of the bag, not balanced, nothing like that at all. So I'm pretty excited for it to warm up because I think this is a huge step in the right direction for everybody, especially all the people that are getting into like six inch mid-range, long-range stuff, because I think that this is a good prop that we will be able to dial in some flight characteristics that we actually want and produce some uh, smoother video a little bit easier. So that's just kind of what my feelings are about these props. It's definitely a step in the right direction. I'd pick some up and, and try them out for sure just because I have a feeling that a lot of people will feel the same way. You know, they're very durable. The roll and flip that I had there just did a little bit of scuffing to them. Nothing broke or crashed or anything that you saw at the beginning of the video. And you can see that I've got really good flight characteristics and everything, you know, typical six inch video. Everything looks great when you're kind of cruising around stuff and everything's really close in the focal range, but as soon as you hit that uh, that cruising throttle speed, things just start to fall apart. But this is definitely a step in the right direction. Pick some up. Talk to you guys later.